Yo, it is good, yo, it's your boy Ty back here with another video. In this video today, we are going to be talking about something that I've just been thinking about for a while now in NBA 2K22, my team. Now, before we dive any further into this specific video, if you are new to my channel and haven't yet, please consider smashing the subscribe button. We're getting close to 80,000 subscribers. We're going to be talking about the market in general. Like, why are players so expensive and are their prices ever going to go down? Now, for this video, I went to PlayStation just because there's more cards specifically on PlayStation. So it just gives you a kind of better representation of what price they're like. Giannis, still upwards of $525 for a base Giannis card. You want a David Robinson? You're still going to pay a ton for D-Rob. So when are prices ever gonna go down and are, are all these prices going to stay this high? That, that, that's probably the two most common question. Here's what I'll say. 2K has tried every possible thing to get these players' prices to go down by quite a bit. Like KD, for example, came out on October 27th. Y'all realize how long ago that is. October 27th. It is nearly the middle of December right now. October 27th is when KD came out, uh, and uh, October 29th actually is when KD came out, but still basically the same thing, October 27th, October 29th, end of October, it is almost the middle of December, and KD is still super, super expensive. Fast forward just a little bit when D-Rob came out, D-Rob came out on November 5th, and he is still super pricey. AK, for example, his price has seen a dip, and there's some guys that, you know, do dip down a little bit. Paul George came out, you know, probably a month ago as well, and he is still super expensive. So it leads me to my point. What is going to make these prices decrease, and is there going to be a drop-off in prices? Well, here's what I'll say. Between the season starting last Friday and us not, I mean, content was okay, right? We've got a couple of decent rewards, but nothing too crazy as well as this maxed out set that we saw there just really wasn't anything to push the price of players down like for the price of players to go down for let's say just a random dude i'm gonna throw just a random name out here let's say clay thompson for the price of clay thompson who came out a long time ago yes his prices went down a little bit his clay is still gonna go for over 200k for the price of an average clay thompson to go down in which clay came out and october still we're gonna need to see like a soup like this Friday. If Jimmy Butler is souped up and Dr. J is souped up, both can play the two, then Clay's Thompson, Clay Thompson's price will go down. But like looking at last week, Tim Duncan's not a top two center. Ray Allen's not a top two shooting guard. There's nothing in this set to bring the price down. The Mystic set was super good, in which we saw James Harden, T Mac, and Giannis. In which that we saw a little bit of a dip in Clay Thompson's price. It's just it's just a fact. We saw a dip in Clay Thompson's price. But to me, the craziest part about everything is that we're still talking about an Anthony Davis card. An Anthony Davis card. Y'all remember when we got Anthony Davis, guys? We got Anthony Davis, October 8th. Over two months ago, and he still to this day is not a buyout. It is crazy how long these prices are staying high. Like it, it is it is almost unreal to me. Isaiah Thomas, obviously it took a while for his price to go down, but you wanna know why Isaiah Thomas's price went down? Cause we have all these other point guard options. It was the day I think that we got like, I'm trying to find it on 2K database, like the Steve Francis of the world. We also saw a ton of other stuff added to the game, a ton of other like the point guard uh, type players added into the game. And that's when we really saw his price go down. But that's what we need to see with the rest of these positions. Like centers, we don't really have that many good centers in the game. Yes, we got George Mike and who's okay. But it's going to take, you know, a, a good Joe LMB card. Not the Joe LMB card we saw. Or a good, uh, you know, let's just throw out Shaq out there. Obviously, Shaq's going to take a while to be good because they're not going to make him shoot. But just a good card at the center position to really bring these prices down. That's how it always is. Like, with every single position that we've seen, even power forward, Dolph's price dipped a little bit when we saw Giannis. But for a lot of these players it's been two weeks since we've seen a good content drop the mystic content drop was good 
gotta remember the mystic drop came on a wednesday and so the mystic packs came out on november 24th that is two weeks ago at the time that i am recording this video that's why i'm recording it today because i wanted to get it from exactly two weeks that the mystic packs came out the mystic packs we had good we had a really good power forward we had good shooting guards in t-mac as well as james harden and it was just all around really good content drop whereas the max style packs we saw nothing if we do get another good content drop, which we kind of think we know what is coming Friday, which I think is pretty mid, but at the shooting guard position, it's not very mid. That's when we're going to see at the shooting guard position, I feel like T-Max price is going to go down a little bit. We're going to see Clay's price dip a little bit. Because then at the top, as a top shooting guard, we got, you know, Jimmy Butler, we got Dr. J, we got James Harden, we got Clay Thompson, we got, uh, we got Trace McGrady. We got all these different options. And that's what it took at the point guard position to really see prices dip. But it's just crazy to me that we've went, you know, a long time in 2K. Like, it has been a while. And the prices of some of these players are just still ridiculous. Like, paying this much for a KD that has one extra Hall of Famer. Yes, it's Andrews for days. But it's just ridiculous. What is it going to take to finally see some price decrease uh, or the prices decrease in 2K? When is going to be that, you know, switch that is flipped that we finally are able to get some really, really good cards for cheap? Right now, it's not easy to do. Like the difference between, I love Jaron Jackson Jr., but the difference between him and a guy like D-Rob is massive. When are we going to finally see kind of that coming together or, you know, a, a switch or a flip that is switched in which D-Rob not, not, isn't the top center in the game, right? He becomes fifth or sixth in the game or even a guy, let's say like Clay Thompson, right? And then when Clay doesn't, Clay's obviously the best shooting guard in the game right now. But when he no longer is that top shooting guard in the game, or maybe when we get all these other options, maybe we'll get a, be able to get, you know, a T-Mac, a Clay. A Harden's already cheap, but those guys for even cheaper. Because right now, to build even a squad like I have, in which I got James Harden, AK, you know, Jaron Jackson Jr., this squad is pretty cheap overall. We got Batum uh, for cheap. But you don't see really any superstars on this squad. And that's kind of what I'm saying. You don't see a Giannis. You don't see a D-Rob. You don't see a KD. You don't see a T-Mac. You don't see a Clay. You don't see, you know, a, even a Penny Hardaway who is still up there in price if you do want to find a fully badge Penny. And so that's kind of what we're waiting on. Like Penny Hardaway for 80K. It is crazy that the cheapest Penny right now is 80K. When the day he came out, he might have even been cheaper than that. And that's kind of what I'm trying to say to you guys is, when will the market crash happen? When is it going to happen? It's going to take a big content drop. Will it be Christmas? Will we not get a really big market crash until Christmas? I don't know. That's probably what I guess, because normally on Christmas, they do drop some soup packs. And they tried to give us some soup packs. Like these NBA 75 packs were pretty soup. People were pulling like double pink diamonds out of them. I don't even know what the odds are like, but I mean, people were pulling some crazy, crazy good pulls out of them. 2K is trying to make this market go down, but it's having no success. The auction house right now, guys, is at nearly an all-time high. And I don't think this Friday's content drop is going to help anything. Like, I think, if anything, the Friday drop is going to make it worse for every other position, maybe outside of uh, outside of shooting guard, unless the Bill Russell that we get is really souped as well. So it's just kind of my thoughts on everything. I don't really know what to even expect or to think uh, about the content uh, that we've been getting, getting lately. Like, the maxed out drop was just absolutely awful in general. Andrew Wiggins was okay. But it's just like, when are we going to see that uh, kind of switch flip, right? It took forever for Dikembe to become, you know, less than 100K. But once it happened, he really tanked. Same thing for AK. When is that going to take place for the rest of the people or some of the rest of the cards in 2K, right? When are we going to see Klay Thompson, you know, is the best shooting guard for going on so long or even KD, finally take that back seat? It's going to take, you know, a LeBron James drop. I'm going to take a big content drop like that. For us to really see that content drop and quite honestly guys i could see us going until christmas without that or, or until then so right now what does this mean for you guys i would say try to save as much mt as possible that's that's my best kind of advice for you guys now when the market does crash that's when we got to kind of be ready to take advantage of it because leading up to 250k the market was expensive post 250k it was still expensive we haven't seen a market crash for a very, very long time. And so until we really see that, until we see a market crash in general, just hold on to your squad. Try to use all the reward players possible, like Gary Payton, if you have him, 
maybe you know trip with their offline rewards trip with their online rewards heck even pick up this jonathan isaac any budget ballers that you can use make sure to use them i would not have a guy if you are no money spent for over a hundred thousand mt on your roster right now now that's just my opinion because i know that when christmas hits there is going to be some big content drops in my team heck i can even go back to last year in 2k i don't remember exactly what we got on christmas but i'm gonna go back and look and see exactly what came on uh, on or around christmas last year last year was the season of season of giving so we got to remember that but right around christmas time let's see we saw kobe and shaq pink diamonds on christmas eve as well as a diamond chris bosh and scotty pippen so that was last year we saw our pantheon drop that was really soup so again this year where when if we get a kobe and shaq or let's say lebron and you know kareem or something like that on christmas eve or even on christmas day whatever they do decide to do i don't know when we see that that's when the market's gonna crash so kind of play the waiting game be a little patient and that's kind of the best advice that I can give you guys. You guys are seeing my MT. It's not a ton, but 165,000 MT doesn't go very far now. Maybe on December 25th, it can go further. So the game's all about having fun with. So if you do want to spend MT to have fun with the game, you can spend a little bit. Get James Harden. Get some guys that can move and groove. Have fun with that. But I tried to save as much MT as possible. It's going to wrap it up for our video today, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy it. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys. Have a blessed day.